Okay, this is a quick method called the slide and divide method that I'm going to go through for this. If you have a look at the slide above, the first step of the slide and divide method is to times the first number by the last number. So in this case, it would be 2 times 3. Just wait until I catch up with the writing. So 2 times 3 is obviously 6. So the next step in this is to now make a new trinomial. Well, instead of trying to factorise the original one, we're going to make a new one by taking the x squared plus the 5x, which is the middle term. But now instead of adding 3, we're going to add the 6 that we just made. So you'll end up at the end with x squared plus 5x plus 6. So step three is just now to factorise that new trinomial, the x squared plus the 5x plus 6. I'm not going to go through the method for that, it's quite easy. You get x plus 3 and x plus 2. The next step is the weird step. We now need to divide the numbers inside those brackets by what we times by to start with. In other words, we need to divide by 2. So we end up with x plus 3 over 2, we write it as a fraction, x plus 2 over 2. The next step, we need to make sure that we simplify. If we forget to simplify, the answer at the end will be wrong. So x plus 3 over 2, well 3 over 2 can't be simplified, so we leave it. But 2 over 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'll write x plus 3 over 2, then x plus 1. The last step is then to slide back. So any denominators, any bottoms of a fraction, just slide back in front of the x and the top stays where it is. So the first bracket becomes 3x plus 2, and then the next one stays as x plus 1 because there's no fraction there. And that will give you a full answer. Let's look at a second example. It says factorise 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. So step one, times the 4 and the 15 together. 4 times 15 equals 60. Step two, write a new thing. So you get x squared plus 16x, but now it's plus 60. Step three, we need to now factorise that. So we take our 60 and start listing the factor pairs of 60. 160, 2, 30 and so on. If you keep watching, you'll see I'm listing them all now. Remember, I'm looking for two numbers at times together to make the 60, but add together to make the 60 in the middle. Eventually, when you do this, you'll get down to the point of where it's 10 and 6, make 16. So I'm going to use 10 and 6 as my pair. So the factorization is x plus 6 and x plus 10. Step 4 is where it starts getting tricky and strange, but not too hard. We now divide by what we times by. So we're always dividing by the number in front of x squared. So we write x plus 6 over 4, x plus 10 over 4. We we'll always write it as a fraction as well. We now move on and we try and simplify those fractions. Remember, simplify means to find the number that you can divide the top and the bottom by. So in this case, I can change it to x plus 3 over 2 and x plus 5 over 2. Once I've simplified them as much as I can, I just slide the denominators back, so I get 2x add 3 and 2x add 5, and that's me now factorised the full thing. Last example to show you how this is working, so number 1, do 6 times minus 4, which is minus 24. Step 2, start listing all the factors, well no, sorry, step 2, x squared minus 5x, now it's minus 24. Now I've got my new trinomial, I try and factorise it, so I list all the factor pairs of 24. Notice I'm kind of doing this a little bit quicker than in the previous videos, but if you've watched the first videos on factorising, you should be able to see that this is basically the method. Once I've listed them all, I just look for two numbers that I can add or take away to make minus 5, the one in the middle. You should be able to see there that it would be 8 and 3, because 8 threes are 24. But I'm going to have to change the signs, so it's going to be positive 8 and take away five, take away 3 to give you... So it's going to be negative 8 take, and then add 3, which will give you negative 5. So I can now list my factorisation, which is 8 
x take away 3, 8, and x add 3, or x add 3 and x take away 8. Step 4, I'm now divided by the 6 that I times with to start with, the number in front of x squared. So I've got 3 over 6 and 8 over 6 inside the brackets. Remember now step 5, I need to simplify. Do not forget this step, very important. So 3 6 is a half. 8 over 6 can be simplified to 4 over 3 by dividing the top and bottom by 2. And then the last step, any fractions will slide back. So the 2 goes in front, 2x add 1. 3 goes in front, 3x minus 4, and that's me finished. Very important, you do not forget to simplify at step 5. If you skip that step, your final answer will be wrong. Hopefully that helps you. This is a really quick and easy method, but it's something where it doesn't really, it works like magic almost. It does work all the time. Give it a go, see if that helps. Thanks very much.